Another question is, how can I develop my career as an IT contractor? Well, to answer the question, I'll assume that you are an existing IT contractor or interim manager or consultant working in London um, or in the UK. Therefore, you have the skills uh, to do your current job but need to grow and develop and try and increase your rate and the attractiveness of your skill set in the marketplace. One, take a look at the market. Are the requests around your skill set for new skills that are starting to creep in? If so, don't ignore them. Devise a way to try and learn them and then to give them credibility, try and demonstrate that you're using them in your um, current contract or your next contract so that rather than just saying you're aware of something, you can demonstrate, even at a small level, some degree of commercial use. Two, look at your current skill set and ask yourself the question, could you enhance it by adding any professional qualifications to what you actually do? <clears throat> For example, would you benefit from taking Prince 2 as a project manager? or a service delivery qualification such as ITIL. Um, but please remember, <clears throat> as a word of warning, don't collect qualifications for the sake of it. Uh, keep them relevant. Um, and really, they can only be uh, a real benefit to you if you can back them up with actual commercial experience rather than just an academic qualification or professional qualification on its own. So you need solid commercial experience together with a qualification to be absolutely watertight. Three, understand your core competencies, i.e. your personal, your business and your leadership competencies. Um, it is these that ultimately will determine your personal development. And as you move further and further up the contract ladder, you'll find they'll become more and more important. Uh, many organisations where they certainly use HR will really develop tests uh, and interview criteria based around demonstration of core competencies and business competencies specific to their business, but generally identifiable and part of what would normally be your skill set. So to do this, um, you can develop your IT profile and you can map your technical skills and business skills and you can combine this with your core competencies, uh, looking at how you will be able to develop these skills for business uh, and demonstrating to people uh, clients when they're interviewing you how you've grown these core competencies. Um, to do this um, I would suggest just googling core competencies, having a look, seeing what they are uh, and really working out over the months and even years, um, if you, you know, particularly if you contract with us, how you will grow and develop those skills and how you'll demonstrate use of those skills. Four. Find yourself a mentor, someone with the right level of skills and experience to provide you with advice and even coach you. In a large organisation, someone like IBM, you may even be allocated um, a mentor. Um, however, as a contractor, you won't have that luxury. Therefore, consider trying to find someone who could mentor or be your mentor. Um, Really, if you're in an uh, organisation such as Byte, you could provide a mentor or have a mentor allocated to you um, as a career coach and that will enable you to push on and make the right decisions about your career. They'll motivate you to actually take yourself to the next level. Five, Byte's mentors will actually um, provide you with a formal training needs analysis. 
So what they will actually do is help you formally identify the skills that you need to learn and how to develop your skills and core competencies. Finally, point six, I would encourage anyone to de develop their network of contacts from about 150 to 300 relevant people who could influence your ability to find work. It only goes to say that it's not what you know, but who you know. And this is becoming increasingly important in the day and age of the internet and social media. Good luck.